Happy 2010 Snooty Wags. This is your hostess with the mostest, Franchelle, and I'm back once again. Didn't I say I was going to see you guys again? I'm back and wonderfully, wonderfully blessed this year. And I just wanted to welcome you guys to the latest Snooty Wags TV. And we have a special guest today for your viewing pleasure. For your viewing pleasure. Um, wonderful, wonderful Canadian Football League player. His name is Casey Printers. He's also a model, ladies. Check him, fitness modeling. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later. <laughs> get some pictures up. Um, but he's here today because he has a very special book coming out. And I want to try to get into that real quick. Um, first of all, let me ask, um, obviously you have the book there. What actually made you decide, hey, you know what? I've been modeling, I've been playing ball, I've been doing this, I've been doing that, I've been all over the country. Maybe I should write a book. Well, it, it wasn't anything in particular um, that wanted to make me start to write the book. I, I just started to write. What happened to me was all the hardships that I've gone through from going from high school to college and uh, the decisions that I had to make coming out of high school, the decisions in college, you know, from transferring from a major institution to a uh, a, a historically black college um, and then after that going into the professional ranks and not knowing which way was the best way to travel mm -hmm. and what better way for me to help someone else's life than to write about it and, and to give them a guide. Mm -hmm. And also um, I hear there's another book in the works. Is that true? Yeah, I mean I got several different books that, that I'm thinking about writing. Um, you know, so this is out. this is going to be an ongoing thing. Absolutely. You're definitely an There's going to be a theme from with from high school to the pros, okay. from high school to the pros, the leadership edition, okay. from high school to the pros, the basketball, football edition is going to tailor right to your specific sports. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also thinking about writing a book about you know why, you know men, why we decide to cheat, <laughs> and, and yeah, I've had a couple of that, that, conversations with major. Book. Yeah, I've had a couple of conversations with major athletes and, and, and people of the business world and, and it seems to be the same thing that goes along with that. So yeah, just be on the lookout for that. Okay, well speaking about why men <laughs> teach, uh, <laughs> interesting, but, hey, there's a lot of that going on. Um, mm -hmm. I wanted to ask some more benign questions first, but have you ever cheated? Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, that's a that's a tough question because I don't consider myself to be a cheater, but I've been not, placed Not in, naming yourself a cheater. Right. Have you done the act of cheating? I mean, we, you know what, let's stay away from all that. You no. know what I mean? No? No? Is that a no? <laughs> that's, that's a no? That's a good question. We can talk about that later when that book right, comes out. Oh, we, can, okay. we can really dive into that oh, okay. subject, you know, because okay. I don't consider myself to be a cheater. I didn't know? ask if you were, mm -hmm. as in currently, as in that's your title for today. Just, you know, has it ever happened? You know, things of that nature. Things happen, you know, right. and you learn from them. That's all I got to say about that. that. Awesome. Things happen and you learn. That's awesome. Okay, not a problem. Here's another question you might like <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your status? I'm single. If I don't have a ring, I'm single. If I don't have a ring, okay. my mother always told me, if you're going to, to be a single man, you need to, you know, you need to see what's out there. Interesting. And not to say that I'm a, you know, a male whore or anything like That's that. Hey, I'm just, you know, I'm living there's it out no there. negativity <laughs> over here. None but I, I want to say that uh, I, I am single. And, uh, Is that by choice or? Yeah, it is by choice because, um, you know, I, I do a lot of work. I do a lot of traveling, and, and uh, um, I just, you know, the time for it all is just not conducive to what I'm trying to do. You know right. what I mean? And, I and being that I'm in athletics and business and aspiring to be a writer and aspiring to own more, you know, businesses and, and, and things of that nature, you just run out of time for, for all the petty stuff. Now, um, I know that you are not booking currently. However, if life slows down a little bit, mm -hmm. you feel like, you know what, I may want to settle down, what would you be looking for in a female? Well, I need a, I need a lady that's uh, just like me, that is uh, trying to progress. I, I, 
you know, when I think of a re relationship, I don't think of relationships as something that is stagnant. And that's what settle down means to me. Mm -hmm. When you think of settle, it means to relax right. and chill out. Well, I'm not thinking to settle, I'm thinking to soar. Mm -hmm. So if I'm trying to soar and you settling, then I'm moving away from you. So you're you looking see what I mean? Help me. I need someone that is thinking like me. I need someone that's trying to conquer the world. I need someone that has the idea that they want to own and operate their own franchise. It's moving towards uh, doing things like that because that's what I'm about. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not about being stagnant. And just because, you know, I'm a professional athlete and, and uh, you hear the, the cliche that athletes are just dumb jocks. Well, you know, they can miss me with all that. You know what I mean? They can miss me because I'm not trying to hear that. Well, I hear a lot of um, athletes, not to generalize, mm -hmm. but a lot of them go for the... Um... Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh -oh. they, they go for women that do not have a lot of goals, per okay. se. Mm -hmm. For example, more recently than not, waitresses, babysitters, strippers. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's just, you know, the 2000s. Um, is it a trend? I, I'm not really certain. But um, what do you see going on with the, let me okay. marry that person? Let me, let me break this down for you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Just because you're an athlete, does not make you a powerful man. Okay. It just makes you good at what you do. Okay. Okay. It just makes you able to throw and catch or, or hit somebody that has a ball. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make you necessarily um, smart enough or, um, you know, I don't know what the, the word is, but it doesn't make you that person to be able to connect with a person on another level. You see, sometimes we are in high places, mm -hmm. but our minds are still in the gutter, right. and still in that lower level. You see what I mean? And mm -hmm. so um, that's what we chase. Okay. You see what I mean? So you can't, you can't shake who you are mm -hmm. unless you are trying to progress. Right. So if you are this person at, uh, at a lower level, you're going to see someone at a lower level being your equal. Okay. And that is why they chase who they chase. You see what I mean? You're not gonna, I'm not going to be that guy that chases a stripper because I'm not on a stripper level. Okay. Well, I did want to go ahead and reiterate mm -hmm. that from high school to the pros yeah. will be out www.caseycrainersinc.com yes, yes, yes. um, in a couple of days. Please don't be on the lookout for that. Hopefully we can get a link from our sites, newags.com to yours, and That's that right. way they can get it either way. Um, I did want to say thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you for having me. OMG, you've been awesome. <laughs> I just want to put that in there. <laughs> um, do you have any last thoughts for our Snoopy Wag audience? Shout outs. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, you know, I don't know. Shout haters. outs. You know what I mean? Well, you, you always got to hey, thank mama. the haters. You got to thank <laughs> your haters. You need right. your haters. You know, I would give y'all some script, uh, some scripture about that, but uh, I'd rather keep that, you know. Okay. Actually, right. let me go on and throw that out okay, there. Okay, hey, go on. Okay. Somewhere in the, in, the, in the word, and this is in the word now, mm -hmm. it says that your haters, they would use as your footstool. The Lord would allow them to be your footstool. Yes. Now, you know the footstool is something that you right. step up on. Exactly. The more haters you have, the more footstools you have. So you if you got the higher you climb yes. because of these haters. Mm -hmm. So I need to grab three, four more haters <laughs> while I'm on camera right now. <laughs> while you're streaming. I need three or four more right now. I know you know what I mean? Way, there you go. Answer. <laughs> well, thank you again. I really appreciate you coming okay. out. Thank you so much, Snooty Wag audience. This is your host, Franchelle. See you guys later.